Um, okay. Hi. So today I'm going to do a, well, I asked you if you wanted to see a classic Marilyn Monroe makeup tutorial or a modern version of it. And a lot of you guys were like, the classic one's been done a million times. Let's do something modern. So it's going to, going to be her makeup look, but modernized. Full face, skin to eyes to lips, everything. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, prep my skin by moisturizing with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Uh, I do not have a drugstore dupe for this. I don't think one exists, to be completely honest. Uh, I know it's expensive, just use like a nice hydrating moisturizer. I'm going, going to avoid my eyelids, but I am gonna hydrate like my inner corner because that area has been really dry recently. This is not, I think I mentioned this in a recent video, this is not a moisturizer that I use every day. This is for like makeup every, like every once in a while, occasional kind of thing. I want it to look really good. This is a way too heavy um, to use as like an everyday moisturizer for me. I've learned after all those years of me using it as an everyday moisturizer. I'm taking a little bit more like a pea-sized amount and I'm gonna focus that right underneath my eyes because that is the, oh yeah, I'm wearing color contacts. <laughs> Marilyn has like dark blue eyes, but these were the only blue colored contacts that I had. And I just realized I have so many of them, I wanna use them, so whatever. Okay, I'm just um, hydrating my lips with um, Auric. I almost said Glow Lust, what's this called? Ritual, Plush, plush, plush Ritual. Um, I wanted to check out the Lisa Eldridge Marilyn makeup tutorial really quick. So I haven't seen it in a long time. It's like 10 years ago. She put Vaseline on her face? Oh. Jesus. Um, okay, so now that that has set a little bit while I watched a little bit of that video, which I'm probably gonna refer back to, I'm just gonna make sure that I'm picking up like any excess from underneath my eyes. Everywhere else looks pretty good. I just like, you know, quick hydration or whatever. I'm going to go in with my, where the fuck is it? The Milk Hydro Grip Eye Primer Base. These are steps for me. She probably didn't have to do this. This works especially well when you've like really hydrated underneath your eyes. In fact, I think it's the only way that it works. Now I'm gonna do some color correcting. I'm gonna use the um, Sigma Light to Meet, wait, Light to Medium? Yeah, I guess the Sigma light to medium under eye color corrector. I'm just like a little, it's actually a Sigma blending brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the darker shade and place this underneath my eyes where I have a lot of darkness. And I'm gonna bring it in to the inner corner as well. I'm also gonna use a little bit of that mixture around my mouth. Can you please? Um, because I do get darkness here and I've never really like done anything about it. But now I think I'm doing something about it. <sighs> um, okay, so for foundation, I think personally that a modern, actually, I don't know, what was the Max Factor foundation even like? Dewy complexion. Yeah, see, I personally think that she would be more of a skin tint type of girl these days. So I'm gonna go in <laughs> with my um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Tinted BB Moisturizer in the shade Ivory. And I'm gonna slowly build up a little bit of coverage. I am annoyed because I planned on doing this tutorial, I don't know, years ago at this point. And I actually bought these earrings because they looked like earrings that I saw her wearing in a photo. Um, and I cannot find that photo anymore, anywhere, so. I don't know, maybe actually, you know what? Maybe it was somebody else. All right, for my concealer, I'm gonna use two different shades. I'm going to use, I may have done this actually in my like fancy base video. Um, I'm gonna be using two different shades of the Rare Beauty Concealer, 170W and then 100W. So I'm gonna start off with 170 and just do a little bit of extra concealing. All right, so this is just providing a little bit more coverage in the areas where I obviously need it, like for instance, underneath my eyes. Um, I'm turning my sponge to the clean side and picking up any excess, because I did kind of just like paint it on. And I am gonna go in with that really, really light one. 
so I don't want there to be like way too much. All right, now I'm gonna go in with 100W. I want to really open up this area because that's something that she did uh, with that white eyeshadow and going in with like a really light concealer, especially because I have like relatively deep set eyes here uh, is going to just kind of like help accentuate that. And then I might just, I don't know, I like my cheekbones, so I can just do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with a brush. I'm gonna use that same Sigma one. We'll use the, for the color corrector and just blend that out. Then I'm gonna go in with my sponge and really press that in. So this is really, really brightening this whole area, which you can do or don't do. Either one is fine with me. The thing about these contacts is that they don't like, don't fit your eye perfectly. So they always kind of make you look like your eyes are either like a little cross-eyed or like going out like that. And then I'm just kind of taking whatever's left over on my sponge around my face in those like certain areas that I like to highlight. All right, we're looking pretty fucking bright right now. So now I'm gonna contour. I just got this um, Nude Sticks package. This is the new multitasking lightweight soft matte blur stick for natural and easy contouring. Uh, and this is in the shade Neutral Medium. That's way too warm, I can't, I can't. I guess it could work as a bronzer, but I don't know. I guess it's Fenty. Um, so I'm gonna contour, I'm gonna do my usual contour routine. If, uh, yeah, it's my usual contour routine now. Let me know if you wanna see like an updated video on it. I'm just gonna kinda like speed through this. All right, and I'm still gonna create this lift at the temple cause it's modern, but also because like Marilyn's eye look, I'm gonna be kinda sticking to, and it's very like swoopy, droopy, you know? Siva, I... Hey, she like died to get in here and now she's like climbing into a box to blend. Blending, blending is forever. Uh, bronzer, because that's modern. Um, the usual, actually, you know what? Let's just try this nudie stick thing that's supposed to be a contour, but it's definitely a bronzer on me and neutral medium. Nude neutral medium. I just like their formulas. Oh, that might've been too much. Pop a little bit right there. This actually might be a little too red, but the um, light one that they sent was broken. So the light one would have been a perfect bronzer color. Yeah, I do love this formula. It's so sheer. This base is, um, what foundation did I use in that base, that base video? I can't remember now, um, but it's essentially going to be like what I did. I might like kind of speed through this base because it's the same essentially as my like red carpet base situation. It's just like a little bit lighter version, slightly different products. This looks flawless, I love it. I'm gonna use the uh, Ash Brown. Oh, no, I don't want it to be that dark. I'm gonna use the About Face Brow Pencil in I think taupe. Is this taupe? Yes. She had like quite a, the arch going. And naturally my brows have a pretty defined arch, but I usually try to play it down because I like them to be a little bit more straight. And I'm gonna keep them a little thinner so that I can really define that arch. Okay, that's very loud. It was very loud. Oh, this contact was moving. For my eye primer, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia eye primer because it's very, very light and her eyeshadow is very, very light. Um, for underneath my, I'm just going with a teeny bit more of that really light concealer, the 170W, right in the hollow of my eye. Um, and then I'm gonna blend that out. I'm gonna set that with my little concealer, I mean, um, setting powder concoction, but I'm using the tiniest amount. The older I get, the more I need to like make this face to be able to blend out my concealer. And I, I actually don't think that I can do it any more than that. So using powder with that milk eye primer only works if I use a very hydrating base like the Tatcha cream. Just keep that in mind. All right, I'm mixing that custom 
concealer color, uh, which I did in that base video. So you can refer to that if you need deets. And then I'm gonna set with a little bit of the Ilia Magic Sands powder. Well, for blush, I'm gonna use the Wayne Goss, the Weightless Veil Blush Palette. I'm gonna use this guy right here. And I'm applying that with my Rare Beauty powder brush. So I'm gonna apply my blush along my cheekbones like she did, but um, she took it kind of low. They took it like low on her. I don't know, blush can go literally anywhere. So like right on the top of my cheekbone or right in the, I guess in the like highest point of my cheekbone. Just above, look at my temples, dust it on my nose. So I'm going to for my eyes, I'm gonna use the Hindash palette, the original. So I'm gonna use this white and I might mix it a little bit with this cream so it's not so stark. And I'm going to apply that with my Sigma E54 brush. So I'm just dipping into each of those colors, more so in the white. So I'm taking this like all over the lid and then just above where my eye naturally creases. And then pushing, or bringing, pushing, what? Bringing that into the inner corner to really brighten that up and then down a little bit to the inner corner here so that this whole area is nice and bright. Build up that white, especially in the very inner corner and in this area that tends to get very dark. Now for the shimmery white, I'm gonna use this, uh, I don't even know what this is. It's like a pigment. I think I tried to link this the last time, but I couldn't find it anywhere. But it's like a, it's very similar to Makeup Forever. It's just like a little loose pigment from the brand Go Play. Uh, and it's a white shimmer. So I'm gonna use that right in the center of the lid. All right, now for the eyes, it was very much like this part of the crease is defined, but it kind of like swoops down like that. So it kind of goes like up and then down. Um, so I'm gonna use my Refer 14 brush and I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss contour palette. I'm just gonna use this shade right here. I think it's perfect. And then looking down, I'm gonna define this area pretty lightly, bringing it like lower as you get to the outer part of the eye and like a little higher when you go up. And I don't wanna take it in like too far, cause like this whole area stayed like very, very light. So I'm just gonna kind of like diffuse it as I get to the inner part. And then I'm gonna grab the Refer 28 brush, pick up a little bit more of that just to kind of define this right here. So I'm gonna use, cause I guess correctly, a brown eyeliner. The one that I want to use that I think will be best is the Revlon Colorstay eyeliner in the shade brown. So it lines her, I think, lines her whole eye and it's very like, whoop, and then it goes down like that. So everything is like down, downward. And the inner corner, just gonna kind of like dot. Just soften and blend that. This is actually a really good trick for, um, a lot of people ask me about like downturned eyes. Like you, your eyeliner, your winged eyeliner does not have to like go swoop up. Like you can like do this. You can even point it down, like think Twiggy, you know? It's like pretty fucking iconic, I gotta say. lower lash line liner. The shadow that they created to make it look like her lashes were just like so heavy. So I'm going to line this part of my eye right here and then I'm going to bring it down a little bit just like that. And then I'm gonna use that same refer brush to soften that line. Oh, 
I'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner. This one is from House Labs. This is the um, uh, White Onyx Matte Optic Intensity Eco Eyeliner. So they would put white here on the outer corner in between these two liners. Going in with the Ruffer 03 brush to blend that. And then in the waterline as well. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do highlighter before I finish off the eyes. So I'm gonna use my, um, I'm gonna go in first with my Vesca highlight, which is in the shade Moonlight. And I'm just gonna use like a small amount of this because I'm actually gonna go with another highlighter. And I'm gonna drag a little bit of this underneath my brow bone. This is like a little bit more of a vanilla shade, so it's not as intense as that like stark white. I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of that gl 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 glow. Go play loose pigment and place it right in my inner corner. Cause I still love a shimmery inner corner. I don't care what people say. And then for the rest of my cheeks, for the rest of my cheeks, does that make any sense? Actually, I'm gonna hit that contour just like a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a, a Wayne Goss contour on my Smith 104 brush, just like right in here. And then using the Sigma Samantha Ravindahl tapered contour brush, never use a brush for what it's designed for. I'm gonna go in with Champagne Pop, pretty much all over my cheeks and up to my temples. Uh, I'm gonna go in, I don't even know if this is still available. I don't think it even is. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of the House Lab, I'm going back to my eyes, House Labs uh, Whiskey Eyeliner, just to like build up that eyeliner just like a little bit like really really close to my lash line because I am going to be applying lashes so I want something for it to like hold on to plus it just adds like a little bit more dimension I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Mist I'm gonna set my brows with soap Dr. Bronner's but I don't want them to get too straight I want to make sure that I'm like Kind of accentuating that arch, I guess. She just has so much more of an eye socket than me, so I kind of want to like build this up a little bit more, you know? Because I feel like it makes a big difference. I'm gonna use the Refer 03 brush and that Wayne Goss contour. Here's a trick for my hooded eye people who have like a lot of room to work with up here. Like my crease looks like it's here, but I'm putting it here, you know what I mean? When you have like a nice flat canvas like that, you can do whatever you want with it. I feel the same way about monolids. If you have a monolids, like literally you can just create anything you want. I don't know, I don't really, <laughs> I don't like this eye look on me. I looked way better on her. Uh, let's just do mascara and lashes and things. I'm not gonna do the dot of red in my eye line. I think it's stupid. Like I get what they were doing there, but I think it's stupid. I think it's really dumb. I don't think it works. I don't want to look like I have conjunctivitis. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Her eye bag looks a little bit more defined in this photo and I kind of like it. So I'm just taking a little bit here. Dude, I don't know, this is free form. Mascara. So I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Refer Lash Curler, which is my favorite, with an emphasis on the outer corner. I'm gonna use the REM Beauty Mascara because I'm gonna use lashes, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and I'm gonna pull my lashes to the side. It kind of looks like they use brown mascara on her too, but um, it's too late now, so. I think I'm gonna use these from Tati Lashes. It's just like segments, little segments, and they have uh, 14, 12, 10, and eight millimeter. So I'm gonna go in with the 14 millimeters on like the very outer corner. So her lashes are placed like really low on like the outer corner. So I'm gonna do that. Let's make them look like they're hanging like really heavy. All right, and then finally, I'm gonna go in with the 10 millimeter. And I'm keeping all of these like basically on the outer third of my lash line. All right, and then for my lower lash line, I'm just gonna do like a really, really light, 
tiny coat on my outer lashes. All right, I'm gonna finish off my brows with my taupe uh, brow pen by NYX. Okay, I feel like I need to modernize this inner corner a little bit more because I kind of feel like, maybe it's the contacts, but I'm committed to them. So uh, I kind of just feel like it needs like a slightly more defined inner corner. So I'm gonna take that same brown eyeliner and I'm just going to place it like right in the inner corner. So I'm not really doing like an extension. I'm just, I just need some definition there because this area is like so white, especially with um, the white in the waterline, you know? Oh, maybe that made things worse. I actually don't know. So I'm gonna take my Kevin Kwan sculpting powder in the shade medium, and I'm gonna define my inner corner a little bit. Cause I just kind of feel like this whole area is lacking definition. Um, let's do lips, finally, I guess. I kind of want to do two options for the lips because there are images, well, it's very hard to tell because these images suck. They're so like old uh, and blurry and stuff, but there's some images that looks like she wear she's wearing more of like a pinky peach kind of. And I recently did this lip that everybody was like, well, what are you wearing? And I didn't tell anyone. <laughs> so I guess I can show you now because I also just think that it would really suit this look. I used the Maybelline Gone Grage, but the thing about that formula is that it's like a little bit wet. So when you overline your lips with it, it's kind of obvious. So I picked up this because I saw someone beautiful on Instagram using it, uh, which is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner in the shade Cappuccino which is a little bit dark for me, but we're gonna make it work. So I started off by lining my lips uh, and I learned a lot from that tutorial where I turned myself into that drawing. Uh, overlining this part, because Marilyn overlined like out here, which would look, I've done, I used to do that, okay, way back in the day. It looked so bad on me. Does not suit my lip shape. So making a little bit of a heart overlining the center of my bottom lip. Which is hard to do because I have that little like notch there. And then bringing it back up. And then I'm gonna use my Refer 21 brush to blend that. So we have that going on right now. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade that everybody was asking me about. This is MAC Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick Lipstick in Mull It Over. I'm gonna place it all in the center of my lips. Trying not to mess up that contour first. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit with that flat brush and blend it into the contour color. All right guys, so this is the finished look with the first lip. It's a little bit more light and peachy. So we have like a nice contour, you know? Kind of matches the blush. So the eyes, I feel like you can keep pretty much exactly what she would do, you know? With the exception of like the red dot, I wouldn't do it because it just, I don't know, whatever. I just don't think that it makes your eyes look brighter. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Like I get it, I understand the color theory. I just think it's unnecessary. Blue contacts are honestly really throwing me off. I'm gonna take them out. Oh, but I need new ones, fuck. Wow, that was definitely not sanitary, but the makeup looks so much better <laughs> with my natural eye color. I feel like it suits, because her eyes were like a dark blue. So I guess it suits darker eyes better to have this much um, light around, you know? Cause like it kind of creates that contrast. Like it makes darker eyes pop a little bit more. Cause like I always think that um, really, really light eyes pop so much with like a smoky shadow. I mean, light eyes pop anyway, but okay. I prefer that. All right, well now let's do it with the classic red. Cause like we have to, you know? Okay, so for the red lip, it only feels right to use Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon. So I'm gonna use the lip liner and the lipstick 
which my lipstick I dropped multiple times and um, it's definitely falling apart. And I sent my mom one and I know she hasn't worn it, so she better bring it back. I'm actually, since my, like, the bullet of the lipstick is just like falling apart, I'm gonna use that same refer brush. I'm just gonna wipe it off. Uh, all right guys, and that's it with the red lip. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I don't love it. <laughs> I don't. Like, I don't know. I don't know if maybe this got too long. Maybe I can fix it a little bit. I've done this like thing for an eye look before and I really liked the way it looked. Um, there's something about the inner corner though that's making me look like a fish, I think. You know? I don't know. I think it's the um, lining my eyes all the way. You know, like it looks really nice on her eye shape, but I don't love it. But I wanted to stick to, yeah, I guess the same kind of thing happens to her face, but it just like fits her face so much better. I don't think it looks good on me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think it looks good on me. Anyway, I wanted to stick to the eyes because I think that's like the one thing that you can pretty much just always do. Obviously, like the base is pretty modern. Um, especially with like the highlighter and all that stuff. I do actually kind of like my eyebrows a little bit more arched. I haven't worn them this way in a while. And the lashes like this is kind of fun too, you know? Cause I haven't really been wearing lashes in general. So just like the little extenders on the end is kind of nice. And I like that it was a brown eyeliner pencil and not a black liquid line or anything like that. Um, and then honestly the lower lash line, I feel like all of that is really cool. I just, I don't love the white. You know, I think it's like very, very stark. I don't know, I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, I also think she wore like a gloss, did she wear a glossy red? I hate, I hate glossy red lips. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, it just, I just hate it. I hate it so much. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you wanna see like another like modern kind of take on somebody else. Like maybe, um, what's her face? Audrey Hepburn or um, Edie. Sedgwick. I did an Edie look like a while back for like Halloween. So it was like full on Edie. Um, but if you want something like more modern, I think an Audrey modern look would be really cool. Cause she's got those like big doe eyes and I think that would be fun. Yeah, see, I guess if you kind of like do that thing that she like always did, if you keep your eyes like this, then it looks like kind of cool. But if you have your eyes open, it just looks weird. I look like a deer in headlights. Or a fish. I feel like I, I look like a fish. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, let me know what you want to see next. I don't know. I feel conflicted. Um, and I will see you soon.